Yeah, hello, good morning, dear community. Thanks for stopping by. You know my name. My name is Ron from Berlin, Germany. Yeah, before we start into the topic, um, let me tell you, this is another great um, astronomer's channel, Miami Telescope, the Moon, Jupiter and Saturn. And this guy really um, offers, publishes um, great uh, shots, um, for example, this one. And I mean, look at this. This is a shot and heavy as an hobby astronomer made. And you can see the true colors shimmering through. We have green tones here, here, here. We have brown tones. We have some kind of bluish tone. And what you already can see, all the light sources on the ground. I mean, we know the moon <laughs> and we know that the moon um, is some kind of probably dwarf planet. Uh, we have really colors that shows us that there is some kind of life down there. We can see that there is um, thin milky haze that is an proof for atmosphere. And under the haze, there is life and gigantic constructions, as we know. So, um, just want to show you this channel, um, P and K Space Imaging. And let me show you what this guy uh, shot. Look at this gigantic piece of structure here in the background. Incredible. <laughs> It looks like a tower or some kind of spacecraft um, hovering. Um, who knows? Look at this. It's gigantic. So, so all the credits goes to this guy and this channel. So I just wanted to show you this one. So there are more people out there who um, have great, great telescopes out there. And um, yeah bring some kind of disclosure to your home. So guys, today we will go for another tutorial. Um, I would like to show you step by step how I work with the um, scientific documents. And, and to show you that every one of you can do the same. So if you have a good computer, personal computer, a good machine, um then you can work with these images um today we will go into the 70 millimeter Hasselblad folder and this um side is the um, so-called apollo image atlas here you get a huge overview of all files all documents all images and so it's like a preview. You can, um, yeah, you can go through all the different magazines and choose the image, choose an image that looks interesting to you. Um, today, I already know what what magazine is interesting for us. Uh, the this one. Wow, VW Vendetta, you know. Um, Yeah, so we will set, uh-huh, very interesting. Ah, all right, here. So we will work with uh, the image, <laughs> yeah, 6660, and this image shows the Giordano Bruno and Giulio Crater and the Lomonos of Crater. This is um, Giordano. And we have watched this uh, region in the epic masterpiece of disclosure video, but from a different angle of view. So in this case, we have 
a new angle of view and can analyze these structures from another side. And this is very interesting. And I think it's important that we um, watch the areas from different angles and talk about the infrastructure. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, two days exploration. So where can we get the uh, image? We go to March to the Moon site. Um, go to the Hasselblad folder and follow the path of the numbers. So 6660. Oh, here we are. Okay, something wrong. Ah, I missed one. Six. Here we are. It's the right image. So we can open it, go for a preview, and here we have it. What we already can see in this shot is the atmosphere, the milky thin cup of haze all over the surface. It's atmosphere, yes, um, but not that cloudy as on Earth. And we can see that there are some kind of huge um, center of light source here, Giordano Bruno. And we already can see a lot of structures shimmer shimmering through. So we are going to download the image. And here we have five options. You can choose the thumbnail version, small, medium, full or raw. Um, in the past, I worked with raw images. But today I know that it was not the best choice because um, it's absolutely okay when you work with full, full uh, image. Um, it's better for the resources of your computer. <laughs> and the result is not different to the raw image. So we will take this one. So let me tell you guys, um, the background information to this image is uh, interesting. It's um, color film. You can see that Kodak Ektachrome S0368, medium speed, blah, blah, blah. Color reversal. The lens size planner, German production. Hazelblad comes from, I don't know if it um, comes from, from Scandinavia. Not sure at all, but a strong camera. And yeah, Apollo 11. And we already have it made a download. Um, and we will start soon. Um, I go for another coffee and then we dive into the tutorial. So start the engines. All right, here it is the image of interest. So we go into the edit mode. So the first step we do is to cut a picture, make a crop, yeah, crop the picture um, and cut out the yeah, the information we want to work with. Okay. So here we are. Um, Now we go for, turn it in the right direction to the right. Yeah. And now, so before we start, um, we zoom in for a little bit. And we have seen the same region from this angle. Remember the epic masterpiece of disclosure video. We started from here. Um, the camera moved 
over here and in this direction and so on this time we are looking from this angle from here and it's going to be very interesting i promise and we already can see massive massive structures shimmering through the milky haze yeah so this is atmosphere guys and we can work or <laughs> we can make it um transparent now and in this case we work with the light equalizer not with the uh, dehaze filter because i have experienced that the um light equalizer has the same effect like the um, dehaze filter and it's finer so you have more um, here pictures you know what i mean and can work with and my goal is to bring a light balance i mean it's already balanced but the haze is um, our enemy so what can we do? Yeah, look at this. Um, we want to bring out the surface. And as you can see, by using the different um, yeah, using the different regulators um, allows us to bring in more um, clarity. Um, we can fight the haze a bit. You see that? And some kind of green tone is coming through now. So I wouldn't say that this is the real color. Because um, I don't know. Ah, nice. And yeah, let me tell you guys, the dark areas. I want to look in there. So we work with this this is pretty good this good one yeah but now i think it's good beginning yeah but it's not f the final okay we will go we will accept this settings And I have to say, um, I'm looking at two different uh, monitors, screens. So the laptop one is this one with the, with the webcam, with the camera here. And there's a separate one to the right, um, a bigger one. And there the green tone looks more intense. And on the um, laptop screen, it looks more balanced. So. The result of what you are looking at really depends on your own screen. Yeah? So I can't change your screen from here, um, but I try to um, work with a um, natural image that we keep, um, how to say that, that it looks um, real, not that poppy, you know? And I would like to fight this area. So it's a bit too much um, of haze in this area. And now we go to the light equalizer again and try to dehaze it. Ah, look at this. We have to be careful. Look at this, what happened here. Um, you really need to find the right balance. This is very important to say. I think this is a good choice. What about here? Oh. Yeah, you have to play around with the regulators. Um, in the end, it's important that you have a balance over the whole image, that we can um, make a presentation of the whole image and show all the structures and that is my goal so i think this is a good result now uh -uh, too much and you can go look look at the uh glowing effect here so when we 
use this regulator it turns into more green and so it's on you sometimes it looks a bit strange just a bit the hive of it so it's a good choice okay accept these settings so i would like to try the automatically tone correction so we have three different choices no uh, i don't know what do you think I prefer this one. So when you say, okay, the, the green is too much, you can use the um, color equalizer and you can try to um, go down with the intensity of color like this. Or any other direction it looks like this whoa boom not good so we will be careful so turn it down for a bit minus five you also could try to use this regulator and when you say okay i would like to uh, bring in more intensity to the colors at all you can take this one um i will take this for 10 But the green is a bit too much. I think that looks good. Some kind of natural, natural. So think about using the DS fitter for just a small those 10 not sure fifteen okay um so this is all we do or I this is all I do mostly, uh, mostly do. Um, we could play with the clarity filter, uh, some kind of sharpness, but I usually don't use sharpness or clarity filter. Sharpness, sometimes it makes sense. You have to play around and try, try it out. Okay, we bring in some kind of sharpness now, and that is all we do. We have finished now and now we will watch the final cut in the movie with music and yeah guys thanks for stopping by have fun and we we'll see you in the comment section and i wish you a nice weekend guys bye bye